the SNES Classic is a very hot topic right now in retro gaming and gaming in general. Everyone seems to be talking about it. And I did a video on it when it was officially confirmed and announced that it was coming out. But since then, I haven't really done anything on it, which is kind of strange to me because usually I like to do follow-up videos and kind of explore the topic more and go a little bit more in depth with it. But just for whatever reason, I haven't gotten around to it. But thankfully, one of my Patreon backers said, hey, you need to make a video on the SNES Classic Edition. So one of the reward tiers on Patreon is basically you could tell me what topic you want me to talk about in a video and I'll do it. So Danny decided that she wanted me to do a five games missing that I would add to the SNES Classic Edition. And that's pretty, pretty interesting topic to me because I really like the lineup of games they went with. You know, the NES Classic had, you know, good games on it, but I felt that there were some just odd choices, you know, games like Balloon Fight, like do people really wanna play Balloon Fight, you know, over all these other classic NES games. But the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, they really did a good job with it. You know, there's a great variety of games, racing games, you've got your uh, fighting games with Street Fighter on there, you have, um, the classics, you know, you have uh, Castlevania, you have Super Metroid, A Link to the Past. It's a really solid thing. But I was still able to come up with five games that I would add to the system because there's always more games. The more games, the merrier. You can never have too many games, right? So without any further ado, let's get into the five games I would add to the SNES Classic. <laughs> If you're a regular on the channel, you would know that I am a huge Castlevania fan. And if you're not a regular on the channel, you need to become a regular on the channel. So go ahead and hit subscribe. It takes two seconds and you can do it, I promise. But Castlevania is a series that I really love. And I was glad to see Castlevania 4 on the SNES Classic Edition. But one game that I would add to the system is Castlevania Dracula X. Now, Dracula X is a criminally underrated game. I don't know what the problem, I kind of do know what the problem was. After Castlevania 4, everyone wanted to see what Konami would do next with the franchise. You know, they wanted to see more progression. And Castlevania Dracula X, to me, kind of plays more like an NES style game than, you know, Castlevania 4 did, which felt a little bit different. You know, it felt a little bit more action orientated. And I think a lot of people held that against Dracula X. And of course, the fact that it was, you know, essentially a dumbed down port of the classic Rondo of Blood for the TurboGrafx CD. But with all that being said, Dracula X in its own right is still a fantastic game. I love the visual style of the game. It's definitely darker, uh, you know, but it has a brighter color palette in my opinion, which, you know, darker with a brighter color palette. What do I mean by that? Just the colors seem to pop a little bit more in Dracula X as opposed to Castlevania 4. And another big thing is the music in the game, not necessarily the composition of it, but just the quality of it. This game actually featured CD quality music. And if you listen to the music tracks, you could hear like, this doesn't even sound like a Super Nintendo. It sounds like, you know, a CD based game. It was almost like a hardware pusher on the SNES. But yeah, Castlevania Dracula X is a game that I love. I think it's a phenomenal game and I would have loved to have seen it on the SNES Classic, especially considering how expensive it is. A lot of people don't get the opportunity to play that game. So that's definitely a game I would add to the list. Spoiler alert, the next game I'm going to talk about is on my hat. No, not the original Mortal Kombat. Jesus, that was... Ugh. But Mortal Kombat 2. Now, Mortal Kombat 2 is interesting to me because I'm not really a huge Mortal Kombat fan. I'm definitely more of a Street Fighter guy, but I always appreciated Mortal Kombat 2. I had a pet fish named Baraka because I liked Baraka so much from Mortal Kombat 2. And Mortal Kombat 2, to me, on the SNES is a fantastic arcade port. Like... To me, it looks and plays so much better than the Genesis version of the game. I actually had the Genesis version growing up and I remember going to a buddy's house and playing it on the Super Nintendo and I was like, why is this so much better? Like it just looks better, it plays better, it sounds better. And like I said, Mortal Kombat 2 is a pretty impressive arcade port. It's still a bit of a broken fighting game in my opinion, but it's still a fun fighting game and definitely something you'd wanna play with local multiplayer. And you know, there's a lot of great memories with that game too. These systems are essentially like memory boxes, you know, to bring you back to the past, to play the shitty games that suck ass. Wait, that's, that's not Nintendo slogan. But anyways, Mortal Kombat 2 is definitely a game that, you know, should be appreciated. I know the AT games systems have Mortal Kombat on them, so it could be a licensing issue. 
But then again, that's a Genesis, and we're talking about a Super Nintendo. So I really don't know why there's no Mortal Kombat on here, but I would have definitely added Mortal Kombat 2 to the game roster. Side-scrolling platformers were huge in the 16-bit era, and one of my favorite of them was Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim was definitely different. It was fresh, you know, a lot of these 90s characters had the tood thing going on, and a lot of them were, you know, either tooty or super cutesy. But then you had Earthworm Jim, who was just like, he didn't care, you know, he didn't care what you thought about him. He was just a weird ass thing, you know, a weird ass worm, I guess. And Earthworm Jim was just a fantastic game. Excellent music, you know, this was when Shiny was at their, you know, peak, in my opinion, of developing games. And just such a phenomenal game. Great level design, great, you know, weaponry, lots of humor that's still funny till today. And the Super Nintendo version was an excellent version of the game. Earthworm Jim, you know, was big during that time frame. There was Earthworm Jim, there was Earthworm Jim 2, there was a cartoon. I think there was a Game Boy version. Then, of course, we had the N64 version, which kind of sunk the series. But Earthworm Jim was a cultural phenomenon, and a lot of people, unless you grew up in that time frame, you kind of forgotten the importance and significance of Earthworm Jim. And I would have loved to have seen Earthworm Jim on the Super Nintendo Classic because it would have introduced a lot of new people to Earthworm Jim, and who knows, it could have even led to a new Earthworm Jim game if there was enough demand. So Earthworm Jim, definitely a game I would add to the list. The next two games, and final two games, I guess, are both Konami titles. Now. Konami is a company that's kind of lost its way, but they're doing a couple things right lately. And one of the things they're doing right is, you know, working with the Super Nintendo Classic Edition by putting Castlevania on there. But there's two games, Konami games, that I would have definitely added as arcade ports. The first one being Sunset Riders. Sunset Riders was a phenomenal game in either in the arcade or on the Super Nintendo or even on the Genesis, you know? It was just a fun side-scrolling western themed shoot 'em up Lots of action, lots of colors, lots of gameplay variety, four different characters to choose from, and it was just a good time. It was a fun pick up and play game that I definitely think should have been added to the SNES Classic. If for any other reason, it's a pricey game now. It's definitely one of those triple digit games almost. So you're gonna spend money on Sunset Riders if you wanna get a cartridge version, but it would have been nice to have it on the console. And the final game, you should see this coming a mile away. It's arguably one of the biggest classics on the Super Nintendo, Turtles in Time. Like, okay, I get it, you know, Konami doesn't have the Turtles license anymore. Um, there's probably so many licensing issues to get this on the system. It would have been a massive headache, but it would have been a headache that's worth it because Turtles in Time is arguably one of the greatest Super Nintendo games ever. It's definitely a super fun game. It was great in the arcade, but I definitely prefer the Super Nintendo version over the arcade version, which actually says a lot. You know, there was a co-op multiplayer. It was so much fun to just throw people, you know, at the screen, the foot soldiers at the screen. The levels were awesome. There was new added levels into the game. Uh, versus the arcade version and just an amazing game. It looked great. It sounded great. There's still great quotes from it. My toes, my toes. Like it's a game. It's not even a very long game, but it's a game that I will play, you know, at least once a month just to play through it because it's just so much fun. The gameplay is so good. Everything about it is just top notch. And it would have been pretty much the cherry on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition Sunday. Definitely a game that I'm missing on there. Definitely a game that should have been added, but I do understand licensing issues were probably a bitch and it would have taken so much work, but it would have been work that was worth it in my opinion. So Turtles in Time, my fifth and final game I would add to the SNES Classic. All right, so those are five games five games I would add to the SNES Classic Edition. Now, like I said, I'm very happy with the roster of games as it is already, but these are just five more games that would have really bolstered it, and five games that I felt were significant for the time period. What games would you add to the SNES Classic Edition, though? Let me know in the comments section down below. As always, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you let me know what you would add in the comments section down below, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Oh,